Good evening and welcome back once again. So this is it. It's the final fixture of the season. It's our, our second season in uh, this Master League mode. Our first time in Division 1 has been a massive success. We've won the league, we've won the cup and we'll be entering into Europe next year. Now what I would say is this is going to be the last video or main video in this series as is for now. It may come back in the future, but the good news is is that we're starting a new Master League career in PES 2021. So the videos are not stopping, we're still going to be playing PES, we're still going to be doing Master League, still going to be doing pretty much daily videos. There might be the odd day where I don't upload a video or it'll or be a, a different game like PGA Tour 2K23 or others. Pretty much this is going to be my main focus. Again, we may come back to this at some stage, but my plan is I'm going to do the final fixture. We'll have a look at some of the stats, who my favourite players have been, maybe what the plan are for PES 2021. The next video after this, at least in this series, will be Season 2 Compilation, which will be all of the goals that have been scored in this season put into one video. In case you guys want to see that, I thought it would be quite nice to do that. And then, like I say, we'll be doing a new Master League career in PES 2021. So I hope anyone that's a regular view of this can stick with me and join us on that course in a new Master League career. Not sure what team we're going to start as. We will be playing with the default team, which is the default players rather, which is if you're not familiar, it doesn't matter what team you start with. You start with the same set of players, which are these made up players. It's a big sort of... It's like a running story through the pairs years. There's been some classic players that everyone either loved or hated. Generally, they're, they're, they're not the best players. You know, they're pretty average. It's it's a tough start to the Master League. But I really like that. And most pairs players do. Bit of a challenge. And then you work your way up. Grind out some results. Whatever money you've got coming in, you try and improve your squad a little bit over time. It tends to be a longer a longer journey, which is what I want to do. As you've seen, you know, in, in this game mode, I've started as Newcastle. They're actual real-life players from the 2022-23 season which I've absolutely loved you've already got a little bit of a head start because you've got a good squad there PES 2021 should be a lot more challenging and also you know I love PES 6 but PES 2021 it's going to look a little bit better it's going to run better gameplay wise I've played a few matches and it's really good it's really fun to play very goals etc PES 6 will always remain probably the favorite pairs in my heart it does with a lot of players PES 5 PES 6 some of the old ISS games you know just really peak PES games there really what we'll do is we'll jump into the Stark Eleven, seeing who we're playing against Dynamo Kiev in our last fixture. It feels a bit weird to say that. And this is the Stark Eleven we're going in with. I thought it was only right to bring Armoron back for the last match because he has been, without doubt, one of our star performers. Got us through some games in the early stages where we struggled a little bit. He was the guy that we looked at to, you know, get a goal for us or get a really good assist or pull the players forward and just run the game. He did that for us. And then we got the likes of Liao and... and other people which massively helped but he has been one of our star performers over the, the two seasons so he's going to start other than that it's pretty much the standard lineup so let's jump into the first half hopefully we'll uh, have an entertaining match with plenty of goals so yeah this is it guys the final fixture in this career mode like i say at least for now it may come back in um you know a number of months or some point in the future i'm going to keep the saves Really, really enjoyed it, and I've really enjoyed you guys' support. People commenting on this, and obviously it's a throwback to games. You know, people, um, you know, a lot of other people see this as one of their favourite pairs games, or people just, you know, having flashbacks and memories to when they used to play this, and it's been, you know, a really enjoyable thing for myself. Um, but just nice seeing other people enjoying it as well, and. I know it's very popular in the PES community, the PES 6 game. But nothing competitive to really play for in this game. We just want to go out on a high. We're at home. Um, we've won the league. We've won the cup. want to put on a good performance for the... Uh, for the home crowd, for you guys. Let's pull out Whitey, uh, please. Put the wheel across. Ooh, comes Armon though. Oh, I thought he was going to get taken down, and then um, for some reason the shot seemed to get cancelled when he got nudged there. And it's blocked by the defender. I'd love to see Almiron get a, a goal or assist. Oh, 
Oh, it's a poor finish. It's a nice little turn. Obviously, it was on his weaker foot, but... Um, ah, just missed it. Decent start, though. A couple of good chances already. Or, well, half chances. Nice tackle from Isaac there. Oh, I thought Leon might be in. But he just squeezed between the two defenders, but... Dest's back as well because he was suspended in the uh, the last match and Trippier came in from. But again, Trippier very reliable. Yes, we bought Dest because the you know the youngster and wanted to look to the future as well. But Trippier was massive for us in the first season and he's always been reliable. And what's that? Oh come on, that's not a free kick. But yeah, Trippier's been massively reliable. He's I, I can't really remember him having many bad games at all. I still remember that goal he scored. Oh, which match was it? But I remember it was, uh, I think it finished 2 1, and he, he scored. I think it was like the 87 for 88 minute. You know, he won it for us. He came on. Um, yeah, he's just one of those. He's a, a, a true captain. Pinball out there. I did fire that in, hoping because you just never know what might happen. Fire it in there. Yeah, kept in by Amor on there. Gets it to do it the best. Running out of space though. Ooh, nearly gets it back to telling him I think it was. <clears throat> St. Maximin, another player who's been, I would say, hit and miss, uh, probably like real life, actually. Um, you know, when he's on form, he's unplayable. And he's, you know, he's a fantastic player to have. Um, doesn't always do it, you know. He sees a lot of hit and miss, but that's fine. You know, when you've got other players that can get your goals as well. Um, or he's a... Uh, Oh, another miss. Isaac's got a score there. That's the best chance of the half. I've had a, a few half chances. Got to hit the target there. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. It's still there. Uh, still not the best. Hopefully by the time we start recording PES 2021, which I might leave for until my voice is fully recovered, because as I'm recording this, it's the 2nd of January. Um... I've got plenty of videos already lined up to go on this, so by the time this last video comes out, it's probably going to be towards the end of January time, I'm guessing. Ellingham, oh, absolutely blasted it. <coughs> yeah, hopefully I'll be fully recovered by then, we'll get a nice fresh new Master League career, um, you know, game that runs smoothly. Um, it's going to be <laughs> weird getting used to recording on the on the PlayStation rather than the, the PC. Um, so I'm just trying to. I'll have to make sure that the microphone's set up well for that. Ah, poor pass. I know I could just use like um, the microphone that comes with the uh, bit inbuilt into the controller, but I'm not going to do that because the quality wouldn't be great. I could also use a. And, um, oh, it's on target at least, but couldn't quite get it underneath my, out from underneath my feet. Couldn't get the power. Whoops. Good tackle back there from Dest. That's a foul. Didn't need a quick start, but never mind. Kind of worked out. Ish. <laughs> Oh, I 
footies that was in there. That's half. Is that half? The, ooh, no, it's not. Oh. Right, that's not who I thought was in that, but never mind. That was terrible. That should be half time. And it is. We'll jump into the second half. But yeah, the microphone I'll be using is the Blue Yeti Nano, which I do on the PC. Obviously, you can use that on the PlayStation as well. I need to play around with it to get the, the, the settings right and the, the distance and just the setup of actually playing right when there's certain stuff and distance. Nearly 1-0. Um, so I'll have to do a bit of tinkering around with that, so hopefully it'll sound you know decent. Um, I just thought, oh, yeah, it's just boring stuff, but just like... The, uh, the whole editing thing, I'll, I'll have to transfer the uh, the recordings to my PC to edit them. I could just put them straight on, but I do like to do a little bit of editing just to check the audio quality and things like that. And I'll do the odd cut here and there. Ah, I was trying to... That's not here, I was trying to pass to. to pass to the lift here, up there by... I'm not sure why he was all the way up there, but... Yow. Isaac. Oh, come on, Isaac. That's at least... Is that th at least three? Was it four? I'm not sure. But, like, really decent chances. Um... I didn't even get a shot off there, it just too, took too much time. I won't get rid of the ball. We're going to make some changes. So I'm going to bring on Trippier and Bruno. Got to get them on. Destin Bellingham going off. <clears throat> we'll need to concentrate on defending. Which, that wasn't great. We really need to get a goal. And I'm not going to let this be a nil-nil. That was a really good, really good team play there. Um, just, it was a difficult finish. Got it on target. Sometimes that's all you can hope for. And it was a difficult one to have a real decent crack at it. It was well played. Really nice um, passing and one twos and. Foul, but play on. Maybe you missed that chance now, but here's Trippier. Trippier, I think that's a Trippier. Oh, good tackle there. That was a fucking pass. Ah, just it's got deflected and ran off there. But Isaac. What can we do? That's a good tackle. Come on, 15 minutes to find a goal here. That was a foul. Come on. That was a foul there. Why is that not a penalty? No, I'm not happy with that. And where's Isaac going? Nice tackle, but again, it forced their player. Ah, tackle them and it just ran off the pitch. God's 
see. I mean, obviously I was trying to pass it, but for some reason he's... Yeah. It's a foul. Oh, come on. I'm not getting any of the luck here. Just want a little bit of luck. Come on. Just a little bit of luck on the last game of the season. Oh, I could just play it. Horrendous pass. How they got that ball to their player there, I have no idea what happened. Well, that's the end of the season and it finished on a nil-nil. How disappointing. Let's just have a look at the uh, the ratings. Davies, 7. Yeah, I mean, he ran up and down the flanks really well. Trippy got a 7. Yeah, I mean, he did well when he came out. That sounds a bit strange, but, you know. Yeah, just a shame it finished on a nil-nil at the end of the season there. And just looking at uh, the stats here... Isaac did manage to finish top of the uh, the goal scorers. Fortunately, we didn't get the assist leader. And this is how the ranking tables in uh, League One finished. We had 24 wins, 5 draws, just a 1 loss, a massive 75 goals scored and only 13 conceded. It's just a shame that towards the end of the season we had um, 3 games where we didn't score. And I, I mean, you can see from that, that's, that's not how we normally do it. An average of at least 2, it's actually 2.5 two every game. So just a little bit unlucky towards the end that we uh, finish with a nil nil, and we'll just have a look through the squad just to see where they currently sit in terms of their stats. But as you can see, Nick Pope's improved a fair bit. Delict was already pretty good, and um, he's already on improving. They're all improving massively. I mean, look at Gavardi all there; he's well above his uh, projected growth. Same with Dest. But that's what happens if you play games and good games regularly, you will improve normally above the actual. You know what the graph says, Davies. I mean. Obviously, his speed is massive stat for him, but he's improving generally overall as well. Sim Maxman, yeah, he's went up massively as well. Leo and Isaac have been, you know, star players. Lewis, our second choice left back. So, again, he doesn't get as much game time, but he's still improving. And Almiron, look at those stats. Top speed, dribble speed. Yeah, I mean, he's such a great player and he's fun to play with. He's just getting about to the point now where he's not going to improve much more. Now, when he goes on that flat bit, I don't know if he will still improve if I play him a lot. He probably will. Looking at the funds, we have got 66,000 with 16,000 team salary. So that leaves us with about 50 grand to spend. That's quite a lot. You have to take into account that when you buy a player, you've got their salary as well. So it's not exactly 50 that you can spend 50 grand. If and when we do come back to this, we'll probably be able to get two or three really good players with that money. But that's it guys, thank you very much. This is just a little bit of a photo of our team standing there. Really, really successful two seasons and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And going by um, the people that do watch it and the comments I get, it seems like you guys enjoy it too. So again, really, really do appreciate you guys' support. Please keep an eye out for the Season 2 Goals compilation, which I'll be putting out uh, soon. Obviously, I haven't even actually done that yet, but by the time you watch this video, I'm sure it'll be coming out. I mean, maybe the day after this video comes out, or very shortly afterwards. And then Pez 2021 Master League career will be starting on the channel, probably in the next few days when this airs as well. Massive thanks to everyone. Really enjoy, enjoy this flashback to PS2 uh, days and... I remember buying this and you know couldn't wait for it to come out because Pe Pez 5 was really good as well you know Pez 5 was a really good game and a lot of the Pezes before that and the ISS they were all great and just remember putting so many hours into this god knows how many uh, seasons I played on this but a massive amount so it's sad to see it see it go in it in a way but it's not goodbye forever on this one and um, it will come back at some stage I'm sure and I'm really excited to be you know getting my teeth into a new Master League career on a next gen console in PES 2021 on the PS5 so yes join me for that one thank you once again and I'll see you all soon